Okay, end of day 32. Um, as we can see, we have the startings of a wall. Um, again, excuse the sheer amount of wastage on the offcuts. Um, blame Timberworld, not me. Um, but at least I've got more than I need. Also, he thought, uh, just because of a couple of cock-ups and using some for stanchions and things, um, yeah, I'm actually four short. Um, so I've ordered five more. <laughs> Annoyingly, I can't get them delivered until uh, sort of three to four working days, which is annoying because I'm going to need them tomorrow. Uh, probably. So that's all I've got left. Um, most of that's off cuts. Uh, I'm going to have to stop for the day now. Not only because the light's starting to go, but the missus is going out for a girls' night, which is going to be awesome for her. Um, it's been a little while. Um, so she's off out, um, and I get the kitty winks. So I'm going to have to leave it here. So I've got the steel wired armor cable going in here. Um, I figured it's like 4500 for a plug. Um, is the law so I figured might as well have my cable come in at that height as well um, that's only if you're under building regs this is permitted development I can basically do what I like um, but I just figured if that's what's recommended for plugs why not for the power supply you know I've left a little bit too much on it um, I can bury that you know, or cleat it and stuff. I took the cleats out. Um, so we'll just see what happens with that, really. Um, this is a finishing detail. And, you know, the, the decking is going to cover over here. So it'll go right up to the wall. Um, so, you know, theoretically, you won't really be able to see much here anyway. And I can just bury it with stones. Um, so that's where we're up to. It's been lovely weather today, even though it was wet this morning. Um, so most of the builders dried out. Um, but, you know, you can still see it's still deep wet, um, which is annoying. Um, I don't think I'm going to put any stanchions up. Uh, it's only overnight, um, you know. And uh, I just don't have time, really. So I'm going to have to get this... Uh, cleaned up um, put my tools away and the stuff back to the garage that's another thing you know anticipate a lot of round trips I could put stuff in the shed like I do put the saw stand in the shed but anything valuable don't leave it out you know people are people are shit um, it just seems to be the way of the world now um, that you can't really trust so don't um in terms of process, these are, you know, the, the full eight-foot boards. Um, so what I did was mark them. Yeah, you didn't really get to see this uh, in the other walls, um, I don't think. So I've marked them with 400s. Um, but Adam, that's exactly 1,200 wide. No, it's not. Get your rip fence on and cut two centimetres off because they don't make boards in metric. They make them in imperial still. So it's two centimetres too long. So you just need to rip that off with the saw thank you makita circular saw for making my life so much easier then you can mark 40 centers on them um and then i marked and you know you can see here where i wrote it down for the first wall and then for this wall just there's an eight centimeter difference in it just because i want some overhang to just flush past the edge of the building um so that will overhang there and go past that uh, vapor barrier so uh where are we at now uh someone did ask me could i fold that vapor barrier up over and staple it onto the floor i suppose the answer is yes do i think it'll make a difference no or well, we'll never get to there um in the real world that is going to be bone mcdry um so it's just not worth my time um for the staples i mean you know so this is overhanging a little bit so that's actually another 40 section um but it's only a 30 wide bay so you've got 10 centimeters of overhang and that with the metal will slide in behind this flashing um i'm gonna wrap the uh vapor proof barrier around it like i did with this one as you can see here the 
the vapor barrier is uh, up. What I'm saying, but, but this isn't vapor barrier, this is breathable membrane. There you go. The membrane went all the way round. Um, so that that is actually a continuous sheet all the way through that joint, like going in behind and then behind this two by four on the other side. Uh, maybe that'll make it a little clearer how things should end up. I don't know what you're seeing right now. Um, but hopefully it cleared things up. Um, so that's that. Um, this wall will 100% be done tomorrow. Um, annoying, but it is what it is. So, um, oh yeah, and the, the, those those measurements, sorry, are from the edge end of the board, right where it overhangs, in um, one for the bottom bar that will give me my footer, so I can stay, uh, nail into those um, to keep the board on, and then one to show me where to cut them all off at the end. Um, that's what those lines are and then these are obviously my uprights so that I could uh, nail the boards onto them same on all the other boards um, on all these walls so that's where we're up to uh, I need to do a hasty retreat inside coil up this wire get the site clear and get to my kids so thank you very much for watching um, do chuck us a like, got a few extra on the last few videos, which is really nice. Um, it's really, really cool to know that some people are getting stuff out of this. Um, if you're one of those people, I'd appreciate the thumbs up, like genuinely. It's not like I make money out of these. You can't do that until you've got a thousand subscribers. I'm never going to have a thousand subscribers. So really, you're just telling me that you're enjoying it. And that's why I'm doing it, because hopefully you're out there enjoying yourself, watching me make a mess of myself. So. Thank you very, very much for watching. Um, cheers. Bye.